folks and welcome back. If you're joining with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Long Meadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire. I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday with the worship service for the entire church family and I also come here every Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church and that's why I'm here today and I am here with my friend Sue who is part of our missions committee and you have got a very cuddly blanket there with you. What's that about? I do have my cuddly blanket with me. It's been so cold lately I feel like I just need a blanket everywhere I go. A little something extra to keep me warm. A lot of people don't have this, you know. Really? A lot of people don't have a snuggly blanket like this. And that concerns our mission com committee greatly. We are trying at this point to collect some money for church world service. We would like as many people as possible to have a warm blanket that they could use in times of trouble, in times of hardship. This blanket could be used for a number of things. Unlike my very pretty blanket that just kind of keeps me warm, this blanket is a lot sturdier. It could be used as a tent. If you were in a situation where you had to leave your home all of a sudden, if you had this, you could use it to keep snow or rain off of you while you waited out the storm. It could also be used to carry belongings. Sometimes in a natural disaster, if you have to leave your house quickly, you throw a bunch of things together that will help you in the short term, but you need something to carry it in. So this kind of blanket will help do that. It's provided by a group called Church World Service, which does a lot of service projects in the United States as well as other countries. This blanket, although it is not as lovely as my pink blanket, is a lot more serviceable and will help a lot of people. So I see we've got it here in our church, right here in the front of our church, but I see all of these colorful little squares with things written on. What's that about? These colorful squares actually have names on them. People have donate, donated to this campaign that we have going, and in, when they did, they put the names of a loved one on these squares so that we could remember them by. My own is right here. It says Nat. That's my mom. I put some money in for her in memory of her. She would want someone to have a cuddly blanket. She's, she was kind of like me with my snuggling. But all of these have been our memories of people who have donated to get blankets for other people. So this we did this last week and we especially did it in honor of Mother's Day. So you donated one in memory of your mom, and where's mine? Oh. It's on here, here, this pink one. This one I donated in memory of my mom, too. And because my mom, just like yours, would want people to be warm, and I thought, this, you know, this is one of the great ways that I can remember her, or we can honor somebody. Mm -hmm. And so, we kind of link it with Mother's Day because when we think about our mothers, it just sort of helps us to feel warm and comforted. And so we do always do this at this time of year, but it's not too late, is it? Absolutely not. And it's a very small donation. Yeah. We suggest a $5 donation for one of these little stickies, or just if you just want to make a donation. Yeah. For $5, we can get blankets and we can get we can get stuff for other people. What are we going to get? We can get tools. And we can get tools. We can get tools and blankets. This one goes each. Other. We do stuff a lot of stuff with Church World Service. We do the kits. You've heard me talk about the kits, the school kits, and all of that. We do that with Church World Service. We've been partners with them for years and years and years because they're doing great work and we can be part of something bigger than our church. Our church alone can't raise enough money to provide blankets for everybody who goes through uh, some kind of weather disaster or something like that. But when we team up with churches all across the country through Church World Service, then we make a huge impact. And that's why we like to work with them. 
And so uh, this is something that they coordinate and we raise the money, we send it to them. They go out, they buy the blankets and they make sure that they get to the right place where they're needed, when they're needed. And so together we make a huge difference. And they also do tools, so they do uh, things like, you know, if, if a house got damaged in a storm, they will provide tool kits. Things like hammers and nails and I don't know much about tools, but all those things that people need to rebuild. So the money from this goes to its blankets and tools. And so we're just really glad to be part of that, working with other churches. So. Thank you, Sue, for being with me today. I really appreciate that and you telling us all about this project. And would, would you pray with me? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Loving God, we thank you for this opportunity to be your hands on this earth, to help people to feel warm and safe by providing them with blankets and tools in times when people may be really scared and lonely and upset. Thank you for helping us to partner with Church World Service and all the other churches so that together we can make a real difference. Amen. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me too. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Remember, I love you very much. But above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.